they are gathering. You will be shocked. <sighs> and also, Tinubu orders visit Buhari. What are they really visiting Buhari for? You know, is Tinubu not supposed to be on this camp? But rather is on that camp because he wants to be president at all costs and no matter what the expense is ready to give the highest sacrifice even if he entails giving the lives of his people and so he came out uh, a few weeks ago to say that himself and a few governor as well as the speaker of the house to say well i'm not going to uh, we do not agree with uh, uh, we do not agree with Oduduwa, uh, blah 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 blah, you know. And so right now, you know, his words is affecting the situations of things. Yet they are still meeting Muhammad Buhari. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's get all the details. Thank you. And Mosu Tinubu others visit Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari on Wednesday hosted former Ogun. Governor Ibukon, Ibukola Amosu, among others. The dignitaries paid Salah homage to Nigerian president leader in his hometown, Dara, in Castina State. Aside Amosu, a counter general of the federation, Idris and his family greeted Buhari as well. Others were chief executive officers, Tinubu, managing director, Nigerian deposit insurance company. Bello Hassan, Director General, Small and Media Enterprises, Agencies of Nigeria, and others. The President also hosted the Defense Minister, Major General. On Tuesday, Buhari met with some members of the, of the National Youth Service Corps, NYC. He noted that the scheme has positively impacted on Nigerians and hence understood the cultural differences which is helping Nigeria. The president is due to return this weekend to Abuja after all the Salah celebration. Tinubu, Amosu and Buhari had a closed-door meeting after the turnout of events of people visiting and having discussions with President Muhammad Buhari. And so the matter is still on. What exactly was discussed between the jail is still unknown as it was a closed-door meeting and we've not been able to know exactly what they are discussing. But speculations are on ground with, result to, with regards to what possibly the meeting could be all about. So my people, now so the matter they reach us. You see, Tunubu is still visiting Buhari. If Tunubu's son, Sheyi, is in this problem, will he still be having a wonderful time having these meetings and pretending that all is well, just a question. But you know, another man head, Nagarawa, making carry the load. Yes, why your own head, Nadia Jebota, made them leave the load like that, Abi? It's wrong, go. It's wrong. Because what affects one affects all. If we cannot, you know, stand up together, it's, 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 it's a very sad occurrence that the government and the people. People can no longer stand together as one and defend the cause of what they believe in. Because if you look at the whole narrative and all that is going on, is Tinubu aware that things are happening in his, in his uh, vicinity? Can he not speak and later have a word with Shiv Sunday Boho? Of course, he's the one who made a statement telling the whole world that he does not uh, stand with uh, Yoruba nation. He's the one who instigated what happened in Lagos. Uh, Governor Sanwolu may seemingly be like the president representative of Lagos State as the president, but truly and really, who is the president? Who is the governor? I beg your pardon. Who is the governor? Sanwolu may seemingly look like the governor of the state, but who really is the governor? You know, since this uh, Sunday, the whole things occurred or happened, do you know the only person who has really spoken? I'll tell you. The only person who has really spoken since this thing you know, the whole thing occurred or happened. It has just been Samuel Otom, the governor of Benway State, who made a strong statement asking Buhari why he's going after Sunday Boho and not going after Fulani headsmen who are killing people. That was the statement he made that very first day. He told Buhari, said, No, 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 you are you are you are you are getting the order wrong. 
there is an order in which this thing will go. You are getting it wrong or you are not being sincere and being honest with the, with the, with the terms of how the order should go. You are being, you are being very un, un, unfair. You are not being honest, not at all. Okay, there are issues on ground. People are being killed. How is those that do not like you the problem? Those that do not like you, how are they the problem? So this is what is happening right now. And that's why nobody must take it with, with kids' glove, like Buhari is doing with Boko Haram and the rest. Nigerians are watching. The world is watching. Everybody knows. Everybody is aware what Buhari and his cohorts are doing. Yes, Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu, he has children of his own. He has his own grandchildren. Yes, the person might not have, like, I mean, you might not like the way the person has gone about it. But why can't you, first of all, intervene in your power? Don't you know that will earn you respect? Don't you know that will go a long way to say that you are a father figure? But no, you rather be, he has always been quiet. Anything that has to do, we do with the full and Maybe you've not noticed. To me, has always been quiet. He's always shown to the full and is that his loyalty is 300%. In fact, he took his birthday all the way to 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 night to a uh, uh, Kanu state so what ca else can you not do for the fulanese so when you look at it you understand that mm, there is serious call for concern in face of all that is happening and that's why nigerians you i want you to really have a hard and long think about it is this the person you want for a president the one whose wife said people should not speak when evil are going on and ask them why are you behaving like you're not an apc person like you are a sheep in wolf clothing and the person is saying the killing is too much you know she does not understand what's going on because she has never been kidnapped oh no she has a soldiers watching their houses and she, she's doing quite well so she does not understand what people are going through she has never been hungry or i mean she has never suffered like people have or are going through so she does not understand what people are going through for all she cares they should stop deceiving themselves there's nothing going on you see, so this is the reason why Nigerians must arise and defend what we call the cause of unity of, of tr transparency. We cannot leave it in their arms. They are not ready to tell us the truth, but God will help us. You know, God will help us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Don't forget you have a voice. Let it count. Bye.